In the previous video, I showed you where this summation came from, some of the first n natural numbers. And I also introduced the sum of uh, the first n ones. Okay, so this one you need to remember. This one is given to you in the formula booklet. Now there are two others that are given to you in the formula booklet. The sum of the first n square numbers and the sum of the first n cube numbers. Now where these actually come from uh, is looked at in FP2 rather than FP1. Okay, So we don't look at them here I'm afraid. Um, but we just need to know how to use them. So the sum from r is 1 to n of r squared, got to make sure I get this one right, is 1 sixth n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, and the sum of the first uh, n cube numbers is 1 quarter n squared n plus 1 squared. So these are the two new ones that are given to you in the formula booklet. So I just want to give you an example of how they might be used. So let's say we're asked to find the sum from r is 1 to um, let's say 50 of r cubed plus 2 lots of r squared. So I showed you a previous example, an example in the previous video, where I showed you how you can split the sigma notation up. It works in all of these cases. So this is the sum from r is 1 to 50 of r cubed, plus 2 lots of the sum of r is 1 to 50 of r squared. So you can see how this has been split up. The sum of the r cubed plus 2 lots the sum of the r squared. So, substituting in 50 into this, we have 1 quarter times 50 squared times 51 squared plus 2 lots of 1 sixth times 50 times 51 times 50 times 2 plus 1, so 101. So we pop that all into the calculator. So we've got 1 quarter times 50 squared times 51 squared. So that's 1, 6, 2, 5, 6, 2, 5. And then we've got 1 third times 50, times 51, times 101, which is 85850. So if we add these together, I get 1711475. So 1711475. So that's how this notation can work. Um, in the next few videos, what we're going to be looking at is how we're going to be asked to deal with this in factorising. And the main thrust of this chapter is not substituting in to these uh, formulas, but actually factorising them. And that's where the main difficulties lie.